Hi everybody, Ali Akbari and your resident road safety expert from Mobility Engineering back again for another Q&A. As we always say, hit that subscribe button down there that's a bit like this uh, button on this flag over here. Help us get to that 10,000 subscriber mark. Uh, we, once we hit over that thousand, we're starting to see them grow a little bit faster. So help them grow even faster than that. Tell your friends, tell your family. Let's get hooked up um, onto our subscribe button and onto our channel and we'll keep those videos coming. Okay, so back for another Q&A today. We've got a Q&A from our wonderful OT community out there and it's around manual wheelchairs traveling in the manual wheelchair around a lowered floor vehicle and that's why we're here at our mobility engineering assessment center with our tripod wheelchair vehicle access vehicle Volkswagen Caddy okay so what is the question the question is I'm scripting a lowered floor vehicle for one of my clients who sits in a manual chair do I need to also script this product here, which is the bodyguard. Now we've done videos before on the bodyguard, which is a um, backrest product. And the, her question was, or this particular OT's question was, was do I need to also script this in addition to the wheelchair accessible conversion because I'm using a manual chair? So the first question I had to them was, are you sure, so this is the first part, are you sure that the lowered floor vehicle is the correct option? Because, and we've done videos on this and, and talked about it before, because whilst the lowered floor vehicle is a very common um, conversion within the industry and sort of some people think it's easy to get through NDIS and all of that kind of stuff um, because it's a common and, and known conversion, from our experience, Typically speaking, and I'm generalizing here, and I am from the disability industry, so I do know that everyone's different, um, but generally speaking, and if you want to generalize, someone who travels in a manual chair does have some form of ability to you know, physically transfer and translate, trans, uh, transfer their body and so on. So um, because of that, uh, we would question, we would go back to the OT and say, hey, um, are you sure this is the right option? Because maybe they can transfer themselves and look at other options like a tip-up plate and so on. But let's just say that this is a unique situation and yes, it is a correct option. So if it is a correct option, then a manual chair does not have a backrest. It is not a automotive seat like many other electric chairs are, which we've spoken about before. So a manual chair, yes, does need to have the bodyguard. So if I was to take my chair up into the um, vehicle and for the purpose of this video, we're not going to do that because um, we're not going to spend the time doing that. But what I would first do is I'd either click it into the dock or I'd um, you know, tie it all up and get it all secure. Then the last thing I'd do is I'd bring my bodyguard headrest around and I'd bring it so it sits right up behind the um, wheelchair occupant. And if I need to adjust that, so it sits there. And now you'll see if I'm sitting there, my head will be there so I have full head protection. I've got backrest protection and I can still travel around in my manual chair. So if I have a manual chair, do I need a separate backrest and a headrest called the bodyguard? The answer is yes, you do. So if we are using that, yes, we do. And away we go. So once again, thank you very much for coming in with those questions. Hit that subscribe button there, down there. Some uh, Help us get to that subscriber button, 10,000 subscribers. Hit that button down there and we'll see you next time.